G'day, I'm Scott Gibbons and I'm here at Paravans at Windsor and we're going to show you some of the features of your new ocean breeze. So this is where the fun begins, it's called hitching up. Now importantly, if you care to, you can make a list of all the things that you want to do to hitch up so you don't forget anything because you can't forget anything when you're doing the hitch up process. Importantly, what you have to do is to put the tow bar onto the tow ball and to do that, when you lower it down, there's a little clip on the side. You need to press that clip in with your thumb, lower it down, and then reset it when you get down there. Next thing you've got to do is your safety chains. Now the safety chains need to be crossed over. Every time you put on safety chains, cross them over. Don't just put them on parallel. You cross them over, very, very important. Make sure that your brake controller is on. That's your little blue cable, that's important. And plug in your pin. So that might be a 12 pin, it might be a seven pin, but whatever you do, you plug that in because that's powering through to all the things that you need. If you've got an Anderson plug, then you need to put that Anderson plug in well because that's going to give you all the power through to your van coming from your vehicle. All the new Paravans caravans come with a reversing camera. They even provide the monitor for you. So this is your reversing camera. When you have your monitor installed and your wiring put back to your car, this goes in. You then have a reversing camera so it makes it so much easier. That's on the back of your caravan as well. Then importantly, and this is really good, some of the vans will come with an extra red Anderson plug and that's for your electronic stability control or your anti-sway control, another thing to be aware of if you've got the red plug that comes with your van. But importantly, when you get down here, taking the jockey wheel off is an important thing because you can't leave your jockey wheel on. Don't try and drive with your jockey wheel on, mega dangerous. So take the jockey wheel off and you've got a storage boot. If you've got the storage boot, you've either got a forward tunnel or storage boot somewhere on your caravan. Just put your jockey wheel in there and it's happy days. So a couple of last things, make sure your handbrake is turned off and importantly, very importantly, turn your gas bottles off because you're not allowed to travel with gas turned on. Now to unhitch, it's exactly the same as all you've just done, except in reverse. So importantly, I've been caravanning for years and years and I still use a checklist every single time. So make up a little checklist that you can understand, you can read, and that'll make this so easy. Now it's essential to note when you're reattaching your jockey wheel because it can go various heights. You have these ribs and these ribs correspond with these rib bracket holes so that when you put your, your jockey wheel back on, make sure that the ribs go through the rib holes. That is absolutely vital. Now the gas system is super simple. You've got two gas bottles. You only use one at a time. To turn it on, there's a little sign on here that says open, turn it this way, close, turn it that way. So you just follow that. That turns the gas bottle on. Choose which one you want to use. I'm going to use this one. So I'll turn the green knob to that one. That means I'm using gas out of there. This one's turned off. If I run out of gas out of this one, I turn that off, bring that over, turn that over there and turn this, go this gas bottle on. Easy, happy days. By the way, there's also a water tap just down here too. So if you want outside water, you've got it. Maybe you want to wash your feet, wash some fish, do whatever you want to do. It's all there for you. We're at the driver's side of your caravan. Lots of fun features to have a look at here. This is your tunnel boot. What a tunnel boot is, it means that it goes all the way through. So you've got a heap of storage. And this one here is your brake safe controller. So you saw when we put the van on, we plugged in the brake controller there. And this is just to let you know that you do have your brake safe unit connected. Don't touch this, that's the, that's the hot water service. So if you've been using the hot water, that's going to be hot. So don't touch that portion there. Stone guard protection here, battery boxes underneath. This is your water fillers. So you have get keys for those because they're lockable. Undo those. Now, when you fill them up with your water, make sure that you use the water quality hose. That's generally a white hose with blue lines. So don't use your domestic hose because you'll just have water tasting like plastic all the time. So the, the plastic water quality hose, which is white with the blue lines generally, that's the one that you want to use. No nasty taste. So that's those. Coming in here, this is your circuit breaker here, which is really good. And then this is your 15 amp input. Importantly, and this is really important, you can't just use your domestic power lead. You do need to use a caravan quality power lead, which is 15 amp. That goes on there. You'll find the plugs are a little bit different. And then as you come along, this is your fridge vents. So there and there, don't block those off because your fridge needs to breathe, obviously. So you may be wondering what these are. These are your jacking points, because the caravan does come with a jack and they are very important that you use those as jacking points. This is your town water. So if you're at a caravan park or you're filling up from home or whatever, 
Then you put your hose under there. Again, make sure it's the water quality hose. That's normally the white with the blue lines. Very, very, that's essential. So that goes straight under there. This is your grey water empty. So you just turn that tap there. That empties your grey water. That's your water from your shower and your sink and whatnot. So that's good. As you come up here, some of the vans will have an extra boot. So you've got an extra boot there. And then you've got your legs. Now, each of the caravans will come with four legs. They're not to be used as jacks. What they are is stability. So when you're parked and you're unhitched, drop the legs down. So once you've lowered that down, grab your jack handle that comes with your Paravans caravan. That goes straight onto here and lower the leg down so it's on the ground. And you do that on the four of them. Two at the front, two at the back, and that's nice and easy. Now, if you are on soggy ground or sand or anything like that, then just carry some chunks of wood with you. About that big, about that big, couple of inches deep. Put those underneath and lower down and that will give your footprint a much better stability. So one of the most crucial things when you're packing up your caravan is to make sure that you do lift your legs up. So that's got to go on your pack up list. So when you lift your legs up, just pull the handle out, lift that up, that goes away. You've got to do that four times. Each corner of your van, four times, and then happy days. Now the rear is really simple. You've got your stoplight, blinkers, and brake light. Spare wheel here, reversing camera up there, and every Paravan's caravan comes with a reversing camera, the new ones. And as you come around here, there's even more to show you. So if your van has a toilet, all you do is lift up that little flap here, pull it out. This is your cassette. Now this particular one, has a fold up handle. So that's nice and easy. You can then use that to tow. But when you want to empty it, put your handle down again. Undo the cap. Don't lose the cap, don't lose it. And then just tip out the contents into your dump point. Wash that out a few times, hose it out, wash it out, rinse it, give it a wobble, empty it out again. Make sure you put your cap back on. Turn that around, pull the handle out, wheel it back to your caravan, and just install. And then you'll hear click. If you hear that click and that little blue handle's popped up, happy days. Now up here is your outlet for your 240 volt. So that's nice and easy. 240 volt outlet here. This is your outside TV unit. So you've got aerial here and 12 volts. So that's simple. Picnic tray here which is really handy because that's good and strong and you can use that for so many things. If you've got a little grill or anything like that, one of those little plug-in grills, put the grill on there, a little George Foreman or whatever. So that's simple. Out here, you've got an extra light. So this is your light just to leave on when, when you go out of the night time so you know where your van is and you can see everything, but you can turn that on or turn it off nice and simple. Now this is fabulous. You've got a, a three lock door. So you've got lock here, lock there, lock there. So it's very secure. Speaking of secure, you can keep all the pests out and things simply by turning this little switch here. Turn that and that divides the door. So you now have your insect screen door and that's your proper door. So if you're just inside and you want to have some fresh breeze coming through, you've got the air vents of course on top, but here you can just have that with the nice little breeze coming through. So we'll open that up again. That goes back into there, turn that, that's now locked. It's a single door again now. So you've got the triple lock door and that's just done. I think what we'll cover now is the awning for you because the awning, you're all gonna love the awning. So let me show you how easy it is to set up the awning. So behind the awning strut, just press that, lift that up, that releases that arm. Then there's a little wheel down here, loosen that off. The same is on the rear strut. So we're going to do the same up there. But in the meantime, we're gonna open up this front tunnel boot. Fabulous tunnel boot. Now, it's so good because you've also got a light in here and you've got two other switches. One of those switches is for here, so you can get butte access and butte light of a night time. And the other switch is for another light at the front, which goes onto your tunnel boot, goes onto your gas bottles. Very, very thoughtful. Here's the awning arm. So we're going to pull this out. This is for your strap. So this is your awning pull rod. It doesn't matter which way you use it. It's the same thing, but up here is the lock. So if it's up, it's locked. So you lock up and then you pull it down and that unlocks it. So lock it up or unlock it. So let me show you how easy it is. All you do, put that in there and pull backwards. Now importantly, if I stop there, the awning isn't going to go flying back, but I can 
just continue on. I can stop there, I can stop anywhere. Each one of those clicks is a little break. So you just keep on coming until you're happy. That's about fine, and we'll leave it there. So to have the awning set up so that the awning is up and you've got your legs, very important that you make sure that this flap is visible, which means you pull the whole awning out so you can see that flap. And then we've already loosened it here. So this just comes out and it comes right up, goes into a black button, all simple. So moving on to this handle, all we do is open that handle up here. There's another little button there. Just grab the handle or the rod, pull that up, close that off wherever you want. If you're doing it solo, it's best to go about halfway, which is what I've done now. If you're doing it with a mate, then you, pull, you can pull it out all the way, but it's best just to go halfway, see if everything's fine, and then you can continue on. Simple as. Here's a handy hint from Paravans. All you do is pull the cord along the track, tie it up so that nobody trips over the cord. That's nice and simple. Now, before you go out of a day, if you can, put the awning away. And before you drive away, make sure you put the awning away. And to do that, all you do is reverse those simple steps. Really easy. Every Aussie loves a Barbie, don't they? Every Aussie. And some of you have been lucky enough to order your Paravans caravan with a barbecue. And this isn't just a barbecue. I'm gonna slide this out. You just press those two little levers down here. Oh, you are lucky ducks. You are lucky ducks. When you open this up, because it all slides out, this is a little warming tray. Here is a grilling plate. Lift that up, when it's cool, of course. <laughs> Lift that up. Oh, it's nice and heavy too. You've got two burners. So you've got burners here, so you've got stove. That flips up, that's out of the way, so that's good. So you've got two burners there. Then you've got your warming tray, then you've got your grill, and then you close the door, you've got an oven. Is that sensational? It's sensational, lucky you. Now, here's your preparation table over here. You've got sink here, hot and cold water. There's your hot and cold hoses. And then you've got your gas. Now, each time that you want to use the unit, you just connect up your hot and cold water and your gas, you are ready to go. And then when you pack up, undo your hot and cold water and your gas because then you're legal to travel. Just fabulous. Now, before you come in, you've got two switches here. This is your main switch. So if you turn that on, that turns all your 12 volt power on for you. So you've got lighting and everything else that you need. And then this one here is just a nice little night light that comes down onto the step area. So when you come in, you can see the step, it's so simple. Now this Ocean Breeze has some incredible features. I'm in the bedroom area. If you look over past the bed, you'll see two pods, two tunnels. Inside those tunnels, you've got power points and 12 volt points, so that's terrific. You've got a lot of these lights, these little down lights here, and underneath each light is a USB point as well. So where I'm putting my finger, that's a USB point, and you'll see those there and there and there all over the place. One of the great things is the window treatment. So on the windows, you've got a couple of things. These are connected, so if you just want to have fly screen, you can. If you want to have privacy screen, you can. You can divide those so you don't have to have it at all. And then to open your windows, all you do is lift the flaps up, make sure that these are undone, and then that just goes out, and then you just tighten them up, and there you are, all stable. And then, to close it, just the reverse. Undo it. Close that up and then make sure you close each of these before you drive away. Always check your windows and your roof hatches before you drive away. So this particular van has got a lift up bed which gives you exquisite storage. Lots of storage under there and of course they're gas filled struts so you just push that down, it's nice and light and easy. So it comes with television, you've got a remote control, you've got your TV here, TV faces the bed, or if you wish, it comes on an arm that goes around and you can watch the TV from your living area. So nice and simple there. The other thing is, of course, is the aerial. Now this is your aerial up here. So it gives you the directions on the aerial. So you need to turn the aerial up. So that's this way. So I'll turn that. And that puts the aerial up. Now the signal will be coming from a particular direction. You'll find out what direction that is simply by pulling this down and then turning that whichever way you want. And that turns the aerial to the signal and that's fine. I'll put that back to normal and then make sure <laughs> that you put the aerial down before you drive away because some of those trees and bridges and things are not friendly towards aerial. So again, put that on your little travel list so you know when you're packing up, 
to make sure that you put the aerial down again. Over here you have your drawer, slide your drawer open. To open your drawer all you do is press that little button in there and then pull it out. Inside you'll find the brochures and warranties from Paravans on all your appliances so they're already covered for you. You can read those, go through them because there's lots of little finite details in them. Over here of course is your stove and oven. This one has an oven so if we lift that up you'll find that this one is fitted with three gas and one electric. Now to use the gas you've got to have your gas bottles turned on. We showed you those so you turn your gas bottles on and then you just press that one down and that will light the gas for you. So you turn on which particular one you want nice and easy. This one's electric you need 240 volt for that one so if you plugged into shore power that's all good. We'll close that down and then we'll shut that down in here is the oven so if you're doing some baking while you're away again the warranty and the instructions are all in that top drawer i'll close it up for you because you can have party time whenever you want so air conditioning is already installed comes with remote control so if you want to you can be in bed and still adjust your air conditioning that's nice up here is your air conditioning unit and you can do heating and cooling and adjust the temperature so that's simple over here we have the fridge you've got the freezer unit here the fridge unit there importantly what you've got with this particular fridge you press that and you can choose the power source so this one says a for automatic so it's chosen at the moment that we're on 240 because we're plugged into 240 but if we unplug the 240 if we press that again then it would say where do you want to go do you want to go onto the car battery do you want to go on to gas or do you want to go on to 240 but if you just leave it on a it will choose the best for you so if you happen to unplug it from the 240 it will then go on to 12 volt or gas whatever is the best power source to suit the fridge at that time now just like your air conditioner the microwave runs on 240 volts. So if you're in a campground or in a caravan park and they've got 240 volt, happy days. Why don't we have a look at some of the electrics? So sound system, you've got a great sound system. This has a DVD player and a CD player. So that's the disc slot there. You've got USB here, AM, FM, very, very simple. And that connects up to your TV. You just plug that into your TV cords nice and easily. Over here, we have the fan so that that's your cooking fan so you've got a light on here which is super simple and then you have three speed fans and you can turn that off that's lovely so this is where it gets really good if you have a look in here this is like your engine room so here if you press this button it'll tell you how much water you have in your in your two water tanks and also your gray water tank so that is clever and then over here this one tells you how much you've got in your battery so very good that's your water pump so you can turn that on separately up here is your isolation switches for your fridge your air conditioning and your stove that's your hot water for if you're using electric hot water that's your hot water if you're using gas this one here tells you if you're plugged into 240 how your batteries are being um, charged up so you know that you're going to be really happy there this is your solar we're running on solar at the moment so it's putting in 14 and that's very very good so that's done and then over here of course is your low voltage regulator so if you if your batteries go down too far so you've got the van covered up your solar's covered up and you don't have it plugged in then it will turn those batteries off for you so you don't kill them all together and this is your fuses over here very very beautiful setup so this particular one has a washing machine there's the washing machine there the most important part is to turn the main water on and the main water tap is here so as long as you turn the main water on you're fine the rest of the instructions are just so simple so if you've got a toilet in your van really easy all you do is grab the top of the lid lift that up now here is the gate so if you open the gate that goes straight down into the cassette do your business flush of course and then shut the gate so that keeps all the smells out give it another flush so you put some water on top as a seal close the lid and everything's fine so before using your toilet for the first time you put this in it comes from paravans and you just pour that into the toilet Put it into the holding tank add a little bit of water as well so that you've got it mixing around and then that'll last that whole first cassette full uh, and that's just a nice little deodorant and it's concentrated it's called aqua chem blue and then of course you can get more at your local camping store or wherever you want to go to get your chemicals but make sure they are particularly for camping toilets so in the toilet and in the shower are exhaust fans so just open that up You've got an insect screen here and over here is your fan button. Just press that, fan goes on, does the exhaust here, does the exhaust for the steam in the shower as well and that's really, really good. So I can turn that off, 
once it's turned off, close that. If you're going out for the day or you're driving your way again, make sure that you do shut these flaps and hatches. Very important. So if you're ordering or you've just getting a diesel heater, you are just in happy land because the Eberspacher diesel heater will just warm your van. It's just warm as toast. And the beautiful thing is you can adjust the temperature at the moment in this van. It's around about 26 degrees. If we want to, we can lower that down to 20. But you might find if you're down in the snow country, because you'll be wearing all the dunas and, and things like that when you're in bed, you might be happy just to have it sitting at around about 15 degrees because that's going to keep the floor nice and warm. So if you get out to go to the bathroom, room or anything like that it's just terrific here's a couple of extra hints from paravans now your psi in your tires should be about 45 48 so it's 48 48 psi in your tires now the torque for your wheel nuts about 140 140 for torque on your wheel nuts 140 pound that is and you'll be happy so before you drive away, check your checklist to make sure that you've ticked everything off, closed all those hatches, turned all your power off. And before you drive away, again, with your electrics, make sure that you've checked your blinkers and your brake lights and your stop lights and all those things so that you know that you're safe to drive away. But in the meantime, all Paravans want you to do is have a great holiday, a great time, enjoy your van. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>